Hi, I'm Michelle Yurofsky here, and we're going to talk about adding users to Insights. To add a user to Insights, just go to the user section under Management. Make sure that you create a role for the Insights viewer and Insights designer. If you take a look here, I already did this. Just give your Insights viewer view permissions and your designer view and edit permissions. Once you do this, you can go back to Users, add a user. Say Michelle Test, and make sure to enter in a valid email address. If you don't enter in a valid email address, you will not be able to get access to Insights. Once you enter in your email address, you can just come to Role and pick either your viewer or designer role. Click Create, and you are all set. Let's see what it looks like to interact with Insights with the two permissions. So right now, you see I see all of these pencil buttons. This means that I am a designer and I have designer permissions. As a designer, I can edit, create, change any dashboard that's available to me on Insights. I can also have access to sharing, forecasting, and a lot of other cool features that are reserved for designers. As a viewer, I'm pretty much limited to only interacting with dashboards that are given to me as a viewer. So I have access to every dashboard that's available on this tenant. And the only thing I can do with these dashboards is just turn filters on and off. Everything I see in Insights is segregated by tenant. So I only have access to those dashboards available per my orchestrator tenant. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos.